Hey guys, Open Dragon Mouth number 40, and I am fielding one year older. My birthday is in three days, I turn 27. I can't believe it's already been that long. And um, I started here on YouTube, uh, what, so almost 10 years ago. It's hard to believe. But uh, anyway, um, now a week ago I had uh, showed you guys a video of me having a glitch with Fallout 4. I have since got around it. I finished the main storyline. I'll probably do a review of it soon, but don't worry. It doesn't mean I'll stop making videos of, um, of Fallout. I'm still going to play the game. There's still plenty to explore in there. Okay, uh, so first off, let's uh, get the elephant uh, uh, in the room addressed. Zootopia has been released. Uh, it was uh, today, wasn't it? Uh, but uh, it was already uh, released around the world, uh, if I'm right, because people were talking about it quite a lot. But um, it is now in theaters here in America. I'll be looking to see it tomorrow. And they have already talked about bringing out the two main characters, Nick and Judy, over to the Disney parks. From what I've heard, they will do a meet and greet uh, over in Disneyland. But they will only be in parades in Orlando, which uh, makes me disappointed. Because I looked, I looked at them, and I really want to see them. Uh, so, but I had checked uh, for like a couple of weeks. Their rating on Rotten Tomatoes was a perfect one hundred percent. But uh, the last time I checked, which was today, two critics have since ruined it. It's down to a ninety-eight. But it is now on pace to be, so far, the best movie of 2016. Even better than Deadpool. Uh, so we will see what happens there. But like I said, I'm going to see it tomorrow uh, with, with uh, our, our Triangle uh, area furs. And yeah, I, I know a lot of uh, furries around, around the country here are wanting to see in a fursuit. Um, unfortunately, I can't do it here, mainly because of some state laws, but, um, yeah, I will be doing a review, um, of this movie. Uh, may have someone join me in this review. Uh, let's see, what else do I got on the lineup? Oh, yeah, this past week, uh, the Los Angeles Clippers, now, I'm not a basketball person, I don't watch basketball, but uh, the Clippers have been doing a uh, re-imaging of their team. They have introduced a new mascot, uh, which was Chuck the Condor, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'm going to put a picture up there just to show you. Okay, so it's uh, so it's a condor, California condor, makes sense. Now the the they gave it the number two one three. Now, which um, which I've been told was supposed to be the area code for Los Angeles, but it seems that that is an error, and um, that's not what uh, what is supposed to be re represented in Los Angeles. Okay, so that can be fixed, and um, it's a friendly uh, looking mascot, and um, I don't see anything wrong with them. So then tell me, why the hell is Los Angeles fans hating him? I don't get it. Now, you you could, I mean, they can say that they don't like it just because they don't like how it looks. Um, that's kind of a poor reason, but okay. But then you got the Puritan fans that say that it's ruining the integrity of the game. Have you ever thought that maybe it was not made for you? I cannot stand this kind of thinking from Puritan fans. I mean, I mean, heck, New York Yankees once had a mascot, believe it or not. But it didn't last for very long because the fans didn't like the idea of having a mascot for their team. But to be fair, he wasn't really that good of a mascot anyway. I mean, you can still see pictures of it, but what, I mean, what the heck is it supposed to be? But this, I... I don't see anything wrong with this. Am I seeing the same picture that they are? I mean, take a look. I, they, they tell me that this is a bad-looking mascot. Haven't they seen the original New Orleans Pelican? 
That guy was horrifying, but they at least changed him up, and he looks at least decent. See, I just don't get the mentality of Los Angeles fans. I just don't get it. Uh, so, they maybe start uh, looking at the Lakers games, because they still don't have one, and I don't expect that they will. Um... Some stuff from Fur Affinity, uh, you may have already known, because people point out quickly, their site went down again. Now, apparently what had happened was that they were migrating data to a new server, and they ran into an issue, um, and they had to upgrade the main storage server. And the old system uh, became unresponsive, according to one of the staff members. Um, but no data was lost, and it is back up and running. But I've also been uh, told that uh, the forums for FA are now back up and running after the little drama that we had six months ago as far as the moderators. So we'll, s we'll see if that... Um, we'll see if anything happens out of that. Also... Um, uh, just a few minutes ago, I mentioned that so we have some kind of a mask law here in uh, North Carolina, but at least that uh, it's more lenient for, for us because uh, we go to Pullen Park where we have our fur meets and people love us there. But when it comes to more, um, well, Pullen Park is a public place, but I'm talking about uh, some more around, how, what, how should I say it? Um, yeah, yeah, it, it's some of, uh, some of the other public places, this is law that you can't have anything covering your face. Uh, so now I see this article from Burlington, Vermont, that they've had a law since the 1960s that has banned people from wearing masks of any kind covering their faces. And now... They are looking to repeal that law. Again, the law states that no person over 21 of any association or organization can appear, congregate, march, parade, or hold any meeting in the city wearing a mask coat or device for covering their face. Um, but people are saying that it violates freedom of expression. Now, the city council um, has been working on redrafting the law after receiving complaints from uh, from certain groups. Now, on on Tuesday, the members of Burlington's Ordnance Committee had heard um, from the furries and uh, as well as the ACLU. Um, now, the city councilors did agree, and uh, they are, are working to, to fix this so maybe the uh, mask law will be gone in Vermont. All right, so we are in March and we got some cons going on. Uh, as a matter of fact, we got two going on right now. I know I'm a bit late. Uh, Nordic FuzzCon um, is going to go to the 6th uh, over in Stockholm, Sweden. We have Vancouver uh, going on right now, obviously in Vancouver. Uh, both of them going to the 6th. On March 9th to the 13th, we have Gadot Con. <laughs> um, it, it, it's, that, I have a hard time pronouncing these names. Uh, Gadot Con, um, which is in Poland. So I probably screwed up the pronunciation. Uh, Furry Fiesta in Texas uh, will be from the 11th to the 13th. Of uh, 18th to the 20th will be uh, Fernal Equinox over in Toronto, Canada. Uh, 18 to the 21st will be Furry Weekend Holland, which will, um, of course, be in the Netherlands. Uh, just for the weekend, from the 25th to the 27th over in the UK. And then the next biggest con will be Furry Week in Atlanta from the 31st to April 3rd. 
which by the way I don't have any plans on attending it I just think that the quality of FWA has been going down uh, for the past few years uh, FWA was my very first con back in 2008 but I think that it's kind of run its course and I don't have plans of going back over there at this time right now my next con uh, at this time is going to be furthermore over in Tyson's Corner uh, which will be next month but again that will be pending on some uh, real life issues I have right now because I have a job pending so I might I might not that depends on on what happens if I get this job well we'll see what happens uh, so that is pretty much it uh, for me like I said, um, I'll be doing a review. I'll be posting it soon. Uh, until then, this dragon's mouth is now closing.